We have all seen these time-lapse videos. Most of the time, they're captured by setting a timer onto a still camera and every X amount of seconds, the camera takes a picture. Sometimes we get hundreds and even thousands of pictures to create our videos. I will open my systems folder and show you my folder where I have saved the images that I took. This particular time lapse took a little bit over an hour to create. There are a ton of pictures in here and they all have the same name with the exception of the four digit number at the end. This is the name that my camera gave the images. I usually take camera raw images, but for this example, I decided to use JPEGs. What happens when you import these images is that Premiere Pro uses each still as a frame of video and plays it back at whatever frame rate you select in the indeterminate media time base, which is in the preferences panel. The indeterminate media time base specifies the frame rate for imported still image sequences. Let's get to it. Set the frame rate for the still image sequence. Select Edit, Preferences, Media, or Premiere Pro Preferences Media on the Mac. Then select a frame rate from the Indeterminate Media Time Base menu. Click OK. Now choose File, Import. Locate and select the first numbered file in the sequence. Select Image Sequence and click Open or Import. When Image Sequence is selected, Premiere Pro interprets each of the numbered files as a single frame in a video clip. Now I will create a sequence and add the time lapse in here. I can play it. I can even keyframe it in both position and scale for an added coolness factor. In the next section, we will cover Automate to Sequence. See you then.